Welcome back guys, Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto, toolsandtime.com. Got my son Carter here with me, he's going to help me with this repair. Um, we got a 2009 Volkswagen Touareg and it's got a check engine light on it so we're running some code, see what, see what this thing has stored. So it's a 3.0 TDI. And we have a P0299, boost pressure regulation control range not reached so what that essentially means bud is that this is a TDI so the T means turbo so it's a turbo diesel and it it monitors its boost pressure okay so the turbo is going to generate some pressure in that intake and it uh, monitors that so it's saying that it's not reached so we want to read the data stream read by list and we're going to see if we can bring up some boost pressure boost pressure actual and boost pressure specified so specified do you understand what that means bud that means the computer is going to give you a general idea of what it's looking for it's going to read in bar that's okay I tried changing it to PSI and I can't get it to go so so the top we have the actual and the bottom we have what it's going to look for and right now it's not really doing nothing so but if I give it gas you see how it's kind of trending there you can see this is what the computer is saying I should be at and this is what it's actually reading right now so we're going to take it for a little ride and I'm going to have you hold this How's it looking? Do they look like they're matching? Mm-hmm. They probably will right here. But once I get up on a on a straight. So okay. far is the exact same. Exact same? It's going up the exact same amount of lines. Not going over. Alright, I'm gonna step on the gas hard. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's they match? there was a difference. There was a difference? Yeah. What did you see different? The ones are a little bit higher and a little bit wider. Which one's higher? The Bottom O one or top? the O one one two boost pressure specified part. The specified one was higher. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's kind of confirming what our code is. Specified is what it's looking for. If the if the actual is lower than that, that could be a good reason why it's setting this code. So once I get up here, we're gonna step on it again. How was that? Okay. That was a quick one. Specified is still higher, huh? So so far, every time I jump on it, you're seeing the specified higher. Mm-hmm. The bottom one's always going higher. Here we go again. A little small one for you. How was that? The high one, the bottom one was still higher. Still higher. So almost every event. And it has a little line in the middle of it and the other one doesn't. Oh, okay. So it wasn't exactly at the same time base. So it lasted longer on pressure too. Right, I'm not going to have much room here, but I'm going to give it a quick step. Watch the screen. Was that so this one has a, a different kind of lines and it was higher by a lot the bottom by a lot one. the bottom one was higher by a lot mm -hmm, by like two lines almost. yeah almost two lines right. like one and a half lines okay but so the first thing I'm gonna do is come in here and remove this cover it's a whole system of hoses and what happens a lot of times is one of these hoses will get a split in it. Over the years, they from expansion and contraction and heat and sometimes oil gets in there as well. Most likely there's oil in there as well. And sometimes you can find that, that bad hose by looking to see if there's oil. Okay, so any one of these hoses in this system can have a split in it, a leak. So when it goes to build up boost pressure, the air will leak out of that hole. Does that make sense? 
So we gotta look for some kind of leak. I'm assuming we're gonna find a leak. By the way this is acting, it's not acting like a bad turbo. It's not acting like a control valve of any sort. It's acting like we have a leak. It's very hard to get any kind of light down around here, bud. But if you look down, you won't be able to see it from underneath. But I do see a little bit of wetness on that one lower hose. It's very hard to show it, but you can see how the, that part of the hose is like dirty. And then you go down and it looks a little wet. See up on the, on the left side? It's like, like, like dusty and then down there it's a little darker. That's a sign that something's been misting on it. You see how this hose is dusty? You gotta be careful, it's a little hot, but like if you if you touch it, it looks like the dust will wipe off it, right? Gotta be careful, it's a little warm, bud. Yeah, but that one... But now if you look down below to the lower hoses, that dust, it doesn't look like that. I mean, in certain spots it looks like it, but when you get down lower, Greasy. It's greasy looking, right? That means it's getting oil on it somehow. A lot of these intercooler lines will have oil in them. And that's a, a sign you usually look for. Maybe. For that, oil leaking out. You see this hose right here? Uh-huh. That, that one lines up with it. Maybe it's leaking from that thing. That's a very good possibility. Because sometimes the, the hose with the oil on it, sometimes this isn't the one that has the leak in it. That's a very good observation, bud. It could be coming from another hose and spraying down to it, right? Yeah. So sometimes you can feel around the hoses. It's nice when they're cooled down. You can squeeze them and uh, sometimes you get one. lucky. That one feels great, to be honest with you. I felt the one underneath it as far down as I could reach and it, it's very hard to feel anything. I'm not seeing nothing obvious except for that one dirt spot. Is that one hot? Yeah, they're all hot. So I think next one I'm gonna show you, bud, is a way that you could put smoke into these hoses, into the engine, into the intake, we'll right? show you where the leak is. And then you look for the smoke coming out and that'll show you where the leak's at. Does that make sense? Yeah. Would you like to see that in action? Yeah, I think it will be out of that, oh, the, the other hose. Which one would you guess? Um, that one. Like there's three hoses, four hoses right there. And are you guessing one of them hoses? Yeah, I'm guessing that it's not that one that's dirty. Okay, let's see if you're right. Let's start getting set up. So now we gotta find a way to put the smoke into the system. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the best way to do it is right through the intake because otherwise it leaks out the air cleaner or you gotta take out the air cleaner and, and plug it up and whatnot. So if we take these two clamps here. Yeah, there's definitely a leak right there. Or even that right now we have to find a way to put that, that little hose into this big thing, right? Can you just do this? Yeah, you gotta do that, but how do we seal it from the smoke coming out this way? Clamp it on? Well, you don't want to clamp it. We'll figure out something now. For now, I don't have the right size thing for that. But we'll do that, and then we'll, we'll put a little hole in one of these fingers, and then we'll put that in there, and we'll tape around it. I put the hole in? Yeah, let's get a screwdriver to put the hole in. You don't want to just tear it, go over the hole. Just poke through it, right? Straight through the whole thing? No, I don't want to go through I only want to go through one layer. Alright. I think you got it. Uh -oh. Yeah, you got it. Is that good? That's perfect, because we can stick this in there now. And then take it on. How is this going to show us our hole? It's going to go through every single tube. What's that? It's going to go through every single tube until it comes out. Yes. That's going to take a while. Look at all the tubes. Look how fast. It'll be quicker than you think. I'll just hold it. Yeah, hold the hose out. You ready? Pull it out of the thing? Pull it out of the thing for now. I started getting some air soon. Is there smoke coming out yet? Mm hmm Okay, you see that smoke? Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't want to waste that smoke. Mm hmm and we don't want to smoke up the whole room. That smoke will go in there, right? That's going to go down that intake, but we got to plug this off. Okay. Just about to waste all your smoke. I'll take this off. Hi. 
Okay. <gasps> Hurry, video. No, we're videoing. Oh, it's okay. already, coming out of... Oh, look at that, buddy. Mm-hmm. Our glove wasn't on right. But you see where the smoke is coming out? We're right. You're right, that's where the hole's at. You see it? Don't breathe that smoke in too much. It's coming out of that. See which one it is? Yeah, I think. That one right there. It's that one. See the air blowing out? Mm -hmm. So it's right here. The one right there, you follow that down? Come out the bottom of it. What's that? Coming okay, right out the side. How are we supposed to take that hose out? I don't know, we gotta figure that out next. Right there. Where? Yeah. So that hose was blowing that. It was blowing that wetness all over it. Yep. Exactly. And that's pretty much what you guessed, right? Yeah, that's the hose I thought. Is it? Well, there's a, an example of how to use a smoke machine to find your leak. Alright, it appears as though I got to take this hose off here at least to get to that next one down. Sometimes that's just the quickest way to find the leak on these. Is just smoke them out. And these hoses are expensive. And this one looks good. So the, the hose that's leaking that we want to get off next is the one that goes down to the bottom of the intercooler. Loosen this up, pop that hose off there. Next we have to go underneath to get that hose off. This might be a little hard to see, but I had to take the bottom portion of that cover just slightly out of the way. Just a couple little retainer screws that holds this up in place, like so. Pull them out, just enough to get this down. Now you see where that hose, right there, goes into the bottom of that intercooler. So it has like a little spring clip on it. We gotta just push it, push that spring clip with a screwdriver and you may get some oil out of this one because it's the lowest point in the intercooler and uh, most times that has a lot of oil in it. So just be careful. Put a drain pan underneath it and then release that hose. Don't go laying underneath it. Okay, we got that hose out. And as you can see, it's like a, a metal retaining piece here. You just take that clip, move it out of the way and pop it out and you will get some oil out as you see nasty just to make it a little easier on me I'm gonna pop this one off as well okay a lot more room I'm not sure if you can see it but now we can pull that hose up and out I don't want to dump any oil down but let's bring it over here and we'll check it No, it's in here. No, somewhere. Oh. Oh, there it is. Look oh. at that. That's how they go. They split. Because these things blow up here. Oh, it's just some grease from in there. Does it match up? Oh, yes. A couple hours and a couple hundred dollars later. Is a hundred dollars just for A couple hundred dollars just for this piece of hose. How many hundred dollars? Two hundred some dollars. Two hundred dollars for a hose? You can just for a hose. Let's run that one down through. We'll see exactly where it goes. And then this one goes on here. So we won't tighten that up until we put the bottom on. I'm just gonna go underneath and pop it in into place. All right, so far so good. Everything slid in, clipped in place. Then you snap that retainer ring back in its groove, just like so. Now we got this one pushed up in place where it feels nice and cozy. Tighten her up. Okay, feels good. I'll put this one back on that we nicely put out of our way. Not feeling any splits in those hoses. Now we can smoke this again when we're done if you'd like. Okay, I'll put this top one back up in. Not sure if you can see both sides. 
You can tighten everything up. Okay, good. 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 And I know the other one is good. Smoke it one more time. I just don't want any surprises, if you know what I mean. I should have left it hooked up. Hindsight's 2020. Oh, see how that blows right up? You don't want to put too much pressure in there. That glove will blow right off there. Puffed right up like nobody's business before it just stayed flat. And you'd see the smoke rising. We are nice and sealed now, guys. It's less than a pound of air. <laughs> Sorry, and little effects for the end. As you seen earlier with the first test, it wouldn't even blow the glove up, and then the, the smoke just led us to the leak. Showed us right where it was at. Yeah, she's still she's still breathing heavy. Smoke for me, baby. Smoke. Robinson's Auto 2.0. All right, it's getting dark now, bud. Right, let's see if we can do this. All right, let's go take this thing for a spin. You think it's all fixed, buddy? Maybe, yeah, actually, I think so. Because so far, so good, perfect. Okay. How close are we? So far, so okay, good. Good? Yeah, it's okay. Is it trending a lot better? Yeah. Match. Yep. They went to the same heights. Yep. Okay. One's just a little wider, but they're at the same tallness. Same tallness. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, see this darn road. It doesn't really let me drive it right, but I could tell this thing has like. I don't want to say twice as much power, but there's a noticeable difference in power. Yeah, there is. You can feel it, right? Yeah, you can feel it like, pull you back a little. And before all that air was just being wasted. How did the guy realize that it was getting bad? Check it out. What did it say? Low boost pressure, remember? Oh. Uh, keep an eye on the screen. Good. beast okay bud so what you learned today today I learned that if you get a rum out of smoke finder that <laughs> when you put that tube into that one black pipe it will travel the smoke through every single pipe and then when it gets to the one pipe that has a hole in it you'll see smoke everywhere right there and you have to use a light and look down to where the hole is and you'll be able to see what the hole is because the smoke will be coming out of it and Pretty then cool, right? you have to take that pipe out and then you have to redo it yeah pretty simple right yeah. if you have the right tools now you could buy those smoke machines uh, relatively inexpensive but some of them are very expensive that's why daddy chose to make his own a long time ago but it, it comes in handy mm -hmm. have a great day